In today's news for you, treating hot spots on your pets. Dr. Wendy King is with Spears Creek Veterinary Clinic. And poor thing, you, we made you, well, no, she was willing to wear this earlier, but there was a reason for that. Yes, other than yes. looking silly and making people want to watch and figure out what you were doing. Exactly. The so cone of shame. I want to talk about hot spots today. Yeah. And um, the one way to, to keep dogs from, from chewing on the hot spots is to put the cone of shame on yeah. them. So that's, that's how to keep them because from, really from chewing on Because really there's no other it. way to keep them from wanting to do that. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure you understand what this is. We'll show a picture that Dr. King gave us. This is the underside of a dog's neck mm -hmm. and below his mouth here. How do they get this kind of a hot spot? Well, this warm, wet weather that we have right now is like the perfect recipe for it. And it's the, the more longer-coated haired dogs and the, the hot weather. And then it might start with a bee sting or a bug bite, a flea bite, something like that. And the dogs get so irritated with it that they just start gnawing and chewing. And um, they, they create these things. And the scientific term is called acute moist dermatitis. Mm -hmm. Acute means really, really fast. I mean, these, you walk away from a dog and two hours later, they've gnawed a hole in their side. And moist is because it's really, really wet. Mm -hmm. um, this one, actually, the picture, the, the clients had actually put the e-collar on because the dog was chewing on another spot. And mm -hmm. it actually got it um, up on the neck yeah. um, because of the e-collar. If we don't go with the route here of the cone, do you shave that area, try to keep the hair I off? I always recommend that you shave right. it. It's because uh -huh. the, the hair holds in all that moisture, and mm -hmm. so shaving it around. But watch watch with scissors. I do recommend the clippers or getting your veterinarian to, to clip it for you. And then I want you to wash it and scrub it with, with some soapy water. doesn't matter really what with, but to get all the crusties off. And then the biggest thing is that I like the sprays, the hydrocortisone sprays. I don't like ointments. Everybody wants to put an ointment on it, but the ointment tends to hold the moisture in. Okay. And, and the whole problem is, is it's moist and wet and it's a perfect place for, okay. for the bacteria. Okay. And then the only other thing, I have a couple of things here to remind you. Um, don't forget your flea and tick control because it, it does start with a bug bite, bee sting, something like that. And then the other is the omega-3 fatty acids. I love those for general anti-inflammatory. But there are some breeds like a golden retriever. They're just genetically prone to having them. Okay. Great mm -hmm. information. If you have a question, any question about your cats and dogs, log on to WISTV.com slash 4 p.m. right now. Dr. King can answer your question online in a live web chat. And to watch the full interview again with Dr. King, follow me on Twitter at Dondi WISTV. Also, click like on my Facebook fan page, Dondi Mercer Plank WISTV. You'll find my daily interviews here. Wendy, thank you. You're welcome.